to start with, the central idea behind this micro launcher thing is to do with space exploration what the microcomputer, uh, MITS, Altair, and those in the 70s did for computer access. Uh, before then, computers were mainframes and they were big and expensive and few people had a chance to get direct hands-on experience. Then all of a sudden these things happened. It was a breakthrough in the cost of entry into owning a computer and that just changed everything overnight. I'm trying to do that with uh, space exploration. Uh, it's now possible to make uh, spacecraft and launchers so cheap that thousands can be launched. They will be thousands of times smaller than the usual. And the opportunity for direct involvement, choosing your own mission to photograph your own asteroid, for starters, uh, can be afforded to thousands of people. And then there should, as it was with computers, be a community of people who exchange ideas and meet and socialize and form little companies and hopefully uh, a parallel experience will happen. Uh, but we are still in the mainframe era of space exploration. Um, Goddard invented the rocket in 1920s, the liquid rocket in 1926, and he was working on it through the late 30s. But then along came World War II, and that just kind of swallowed up everything he was doing. Uh, the Rockefeller Foundation pulled the funding for the duration of the war, and it never got resumed. And then the whole rocket technology thing got buried in giant Cold War semi-military things. And Matt NASA and the Apollo program is a battle of the Cold War, which we won. But it's never recovered from that. It's still giant and remote and expensive and infrequent. And ordinary people don't have much chance to participate directly. And here I'm trying to create conditions in which it's possible. Technology, it is, it's easy. The parts are available. Um, cameras are now the size of a pea, literally. If you take the camera out of a, a cell phone, they're literally smaller than a pea and inexpensive. And uh, nowadays, damn good pictures. Uh, better than what NASA started out with in the earlier uh, uh, Mariner flights to Mars, uh, the pictures will be better. So the, the first mission might be to, to plot a course to sail past this or that near-Earth asteroids, new ones coming by every, just about every day, and uh, photograph them and then play back the pictures and send them back to Earth uh, over the next uh, several weeks or months after the encounter, uh, because you, you can't send them back very rapidly. And nowadays you can send them by way of little diode lasers, somewhat like the laser pointers, maybe slightly more powerful. And uh, you don't have to have giant uh, radio dishes like the, uh, the space network. You don't need that anymore. Uh, amateur grade telescopes can take down the data. All the pieces are here. Now it's just a case of trying to catalyze the realization uh, of a sort of critical mass of people. And I think this thing will take off.